All right, we're here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, and this is Schaefer's 510 GT. We're going to go ahead and check this thing out. I think it's a really great boat for the size, and I can't wait to show it off to you guys. Starting out here on the rear, you got this nice big wide high-low hydraulic swim platform. As you can see here, that's where the stairs are. As it gets angled like this, the stairs pop out, and you get some stairs, so that's pretty cool there. I think it's a great feature to have. Plenty of room for a little tender jet ski, whatever, whatever you may want to have on the back. And there is a swim ladder hiding there. Immediately as we step on, underneath of here, there's some storage going on. I'm not going to screw around with that with one hand with the camera pretty hard. But I will show you what's going on here. This opens up, and on the back, you have this great grill area. So you got an actual propane grill on that side, splash guard there. If we hit this little guy, it might be hard to see, but you can kind of see the LED accent light lights up there, so that's cool. And of course, uh, sink on that side hanging out there. So we're gonna close this up, and we are gonna head on to the aft cockpit here. Immediately stepping up in here though, just, oh, kind of hard to see. A little bit of storage hanging out in there. Again, similar to the other uh, Schaefer boats, there's that really cool style of cleat rectangular with the rounded edges rather than just a traditional, I don't even know what shape you'd call it. And you will notice immediately to the, on the uh, starboard side to our right here is this really cool little uh, fold out terrace area. I think it really just expands the space. And uh, in fact, you can just walk out here and now we're just hanging out over the water. You can see the whole boat up and down and around. I think it just really opens up the space and adds so much usable room to these boats. So here's the uh, aft lounge in the cockpit area. I think it's a great area. Um, above it, just some uh, lighting and accent stuff. Can't really see it during the day, but it looks great in the evening. Got to check it out last night a little bit. I think it looked great. This table does fold out larger on either side or it folds up like it is now for a grab rail and a pair of cup holders on either side. There is storage hanging out all around there. I can't get to it. I'm a one-handed show. And uh, hanging out over here actually is a uh, cool little feature. There is a joystick docking station on the back of this boat. Really uncommon for something on this size. I think it's a great feature. So if you're docking from the uh, docking aft to, then uh, you can see everything that's going on and just uh, use the joystick right there. So I think that's really cool that you have access on that. Some really uh, super yacht-esque, if you will, stuff going on there. And uh, we are gonna show you a couple, show you something over here real quick, and then we are gonna head, I believe, up to the flybridge because uh, I believe there's some folks in the boat right now. We're hanging out down here is, and this top opens up too for easier access. But there's some stuff down in there. They've, this could be used as crew quarters. I believe you could fit one person down there. It's being used as storage right now, and that's probably what most people would do. Is this would be a owner-operated size of boat. So that's what's going on in there. And uh, we will head on around to the bow. Again, there's uh, let's see LED accent lighting up the steps on either side, so that's pretty cool to see that. And uh, we're gonna step on down the side here. Plenty of width on the uh, the side deck here. The railing height, I'm six foot one. It is up over my knee, almost mid thigh height. So that's uh, that's cool. Very very useful. Here is the uh, bow area on this. It's got a light tan off-white, if you will, going on there. Almost gray hues to the darker side there, so that's cool to see. Um, I'm a fan of that on all these Schaefer boats. Uh, there's more of the same styling they use again, the acrylic cutouts for the cup holders, really cool. If we head up to the front, we have our uh, remote spotlight there, the windlass hanging out. And then hanging down here is your locker to access some uh, a fender and the road and all that stuff going on down in there. And like all the other Schaefer's that I've come across, again, there's those foot controls. So you could literally just go ahead, you would flip up the, uh, this white cover here, so you don't, these are there to protect it so you don't accidentally hit it, but you'd flip one of those up, and then you can bring it up or down with the foot control. So that's pretty, pretty cool stuff there. I think that's really innovative and uh, really helpful. But looking up the boat here, nice wide unobstructed uh, windscreen on that. And then up there is our flybridge area, which I think we are going to head up to next to check that on out. And uh, walking down the side here looks virtually identical to the other side. Uh, not much to say about that. Oh, one thing did catch my eye here on this little trim piece. This may be hard to see, but it is a uh, carbon fiber trim finish. So that's actually really cool. 
I'm a nerd. I like cool stuff like that. I like fast cars, and fast cars use carbon fiber. So anybody who's into that might be a little tidbit that they would appreciate on this boat. So we're gonna step on down here, and we are going to head up to the flybridge up these stairs. We've got these teak coverings. They actually provide a lot of grip on the feet, so that's nice. I know some boats, I don't know, I don't know what they put on them, but they're slick. This one is not that way, so that's nice. Fusion audio speaker hanging out right there, LED accent light. And we'll look in here, a little waste bin area hanging out. And if we open this, get a nice little wet bar area, sink on this side, and hanging out down there would be a uh, cooler if you want to fill that up with some beverages. And again, there's that kind of uh, square rectangular styling with the rounded edges. I like it. I like what Schaefer does. Their styling is fantastic. I'm a huge fan. And here's the helm up on the flybridge. Does everything you need it to. It's a little minimalist, but that's okay. We're on the flybridge. We're gonna sit down here. That is the view sitting down. Just great, great view over the top a lot. You can see it's just good line of sight all the way around. Like, as you would expect on the flybridge. I mean, yeah. But anyways, hanging out next to us here, this big uh, sun pad area, so you can definitely just hang out there, do your thing. Uh, going back to the helm here, you got a uh, Raymarine glass display hanging out there, your uh, Volvo Penta engine management, and yeah, engine monitor rather, hanging out there, and a bit of management. And then uh, throttle controls there, some other stuff going on with like your engine system and uh, just various switches. And of course, you still have a joystick control up here, so that's pretty cool. You got that, light switches, all sorts of good stuff there. And then underneath the steering wheel, it's kind of hard to do, but there is, in fact, a uh, tilt control, so that's cool. And they even give you a, uh, there's a same acrylic cutout cup holders hanging out up here. Carry that styling throughout the boat, love it. Look back behind us here. And uh, has a bimini top, it's up right now, that's nice, but uh, on a date like today, it might not be bad to actually take it down with the clouds in the sky and the sun not beating down on you here in South Florida. But either way, the breeze gets through here and it feels great. There's plenty of seating here. You could probably seat six, seven, eight people there, depending on how cozy you wanna get. Got this nice teak finish table down here. If you wanna hang out, enjoy dinner with some folks there. And hanging out in this guy here, Oh, not that there. That is an ice maker, so a little scoop going there, but pretty cool. So we'll close up that uh, ice maker there. Sorry, the camera was just freaking out a little bit. My apologies. And uh, hanging out back here, your uh, radar, radio arch, not arch. Well, I guess it's on an arch. It's on a little arch there. But yeah, so that's where your uh, electronics hang out. We are gonna head on down here real quick. Just run back up to the helm and just show you what it looks like standing up here. Excellent visibility. Be really easy to dock this thing between able, being able to look over the bow and or having the option to use the uh, aft uh, joystick control there for docking from that direction. And these stairs are actually good enough, like spaced out enough that you can actually walk down them rather than use them as a ladder. So that's uh, really cool. The grab rails there were in a great position. We're gonna head on inside now. All right, we're gonna head on down into the cabin here first, actually, rather than checking out the sal salon or saloon, however you say it. Gentleman was sitting there on his phone and gonna try to do my best not to disturb him. Um, so immediately forward is the uh, VIP cabin. This thing is stunning. Um, all I can say is, wow, I'm a huge fan. The colors, I love the color scheme. It's kind of like my own house. I love the gloss finish on the white there. The teal trim is amazing. I'm, I don't know why, it just, it really does it for me. And then they got this diamond hatching, as you can see in other parts of the boat hanging out there. We'll show you them in a few minutes. I just love the diamond hatching. I think it gives it a really high end look and I am, I'm all about it. I just, I can't stop ranting and raving about it on all these boats. And there are just more of the teal accent going on. I, it just looks absolutely spectacular. And uh, I, these, these boats leave me speechless. I have been blown away by these Schaefer's. 
and uh, yeah, it has this really cool little LED accent lighting down around the bottom there, up the sides there, and they even carry it through up to there, so it's just too cool. I, I can't get over it. <laughs> Um, anyway, so yeah, there, that's enough of me absolutely gloating over this, uh, Ford VIP cabin. Show you some storage there. Lock that up. Flat screen hiding out behind the, uh, door there. And on this side, ensuite access to the head. And, uh, I love the showers on these. If you've seen the 660 video, similar style. The 660 has the rainfall, this has the, uh, just the regular one, but uh, it has this so cool. It's a half cylinder enclosure that wraps around you. I think that is just the coolest thing ever. I, I, wish, my, I wish my house had that kind of shower. Um, but there's a ton of headroom in there. I don't even need, I don't need to get in there and show you guys, but uh, I'm six foot one and there's gotta be at least six, seven inches above where I would be standing in there. So that's awesome. Um, we're gonna turn around here. There is our uh, sink area, hiding out down here, just storage, hiding out on this side, toilet paper, storage, medicine cabinet, if you will, hanging out up here. Um, that just pulls up, that's really easy, I like that. And a little opening porthole there. So we're gonna scoot on out of the head and we are actually gonna use the alternative access here that takes us back into the uh, galley area and check that out. So again, that gloss white that I just absolutely love with this wood grain finish look going on here, I think it just goes so well together. Uh, you do actually get, look at this, a dishwasher on this guy. That's, that's so cool. Love it. That just makes life so much easier when you got a dishwasher. Down here, slide out storage, more storage, pots and pans, and in here you could put a uh, silverware, I suppose. So yeah. Sink under the counter, wipes right off, that's so nice. I even like this extra little recess, so if you're over here, stuff can just hang out there, and then when you're done, completely wipe it off there, so that's, that's too cool. And then you got a cool box hiding out in the corner back there, so that's a little refrigeration area. That's a uh, fantastic use of the space. The light comes in through there, it just looks great. And then uh, we're gonna spin it back around here, and actually check out this little panel in the floor real quick, just show you off. Down there is actually access to the gray water tank and some other plumbing, so that is easy access. That's always nice. And on this side, there is this nice little couch lounge area. You can fill it in, use it as a double berth there, so that's really versatile. And then I'm hiding up there, another television, so when you're hanging out there or in the bed there, go ahead and watch yourself some TV. And a cool little feature that hanging up on the back of that panel is access to any of your uh, electronics at the helm so that's cool that that's really easy to access and sometimes these will be up against the wall yeah, it has a better view there and uh you just it's a pain to work on them so it's really nice and i just love this it's like an atrium in here it's just wide open tall fantastic all glass above the head and i'm uh i'm all about it um so yeah back there is what i would call the master cabin on this guy and we'll head back there in just a second almost forgot this one last thing if you flip this up, it gives you access. We got a uh, vacuum hanging out as well as your uh, AC systems chilling right there under the stairs. So easy access for any maintenance. And then these cool little LED accents going up the stairs. Kind of uh, synonymous with all the styling going on on any of these Schaefer boats. And uh, stepping in the master cabin, we're gonna go immediately to our right onto the port side and show off this little uh, head first, the master head, separate Toilet shower going on, so there's your toilet. Hanging out here, fold out storage, cleaning supplies. And then uh, up here is just more storage, medicine cabinet, if you will. And uh, do a little reorganization to get myself into the shower. And uh, it's not one of the cool round showers, but I still think this is really unique. It's got this uh, wood grain styling going on on that side. If we come around here, you have a tile looking finish on this side, and then the glossy white that I'm a fan of there. Put your uh, toiletries there. Plenty of room, I don't even need to, I don't even need to show you. I am six foot one, there is a foot above my head. And uh, here's just another look at the bathroom. So yeah, that looks, I love the styling in here. I think it looks great. Um, 
the marble looking finish there on the counter. Carried over to like the concrete tile here, look here. All around just, just solid, huge fan of it. We're gonna head out now and then this piano gloss black door really works with it, I'm a fan. So we're gonna head on out here and go into the master cabin. And there it is. It's got that red maroon velvet going on there. I think that looks really cool with just that finish that they got with that uh, brown leather finish on the uh, trim behind it. And there is more of that diamond hatching going on on the seat there. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. I still can't get over the, the look that it gives on these Schaefer's. I'm a huge fan of what they have done with that upholstery. And uh, more of the LED accent lighting going on there. Come down here along the side. I think it looks great. I can step down in this little recess here and I'm able to fit right underneath without hitting my head. So that's really nice that you're not ducking in this master cabin standing in front of the bed. On this side, there's storage all the way down and then here, pull out drawer storage. So that's nice. Gives you plenty of space to put your stuff. And uh, yeah. Got some little reading lamps above either side of the uh, bed there. And if we turn around here, 180 degrees, we had our TV hanging out there. And then we got this large uh, storage cabinet, locker, closet, pantry. <laughs> Not pantry, I guess it could be if you put food in it, but that's what we got going on there. And then if we look to that side, we got the same deal going on there, so. Just a uh, great use of the space down here. And uh, I'm a big fan of the styling. You can see more of that LED accent lighting there. We're just gonna walk here. I can actually walk along the side here without hitting my head and that's great. It's got this cutout space above me. Give you a better look of it here. There you can see the profile cut out there. So even at six foot one, I'm able to walk along here. All right, we're gonna head on up now. And this is the uh, main floor. Got your uh, little galley area there as well as down below. I absolutely love the white finish they got, the gloss white. I think it works really well. Just some with this uh, medium gray accent there. These do fold down. So if you did that, you bring this down, you flip that down because this is really clean modern look on top of it there. I'm a huge fan of it. So we'll open that back up. Splash guard cooktop going on there. And then uh, on this side, more of that diamond hatch going on on the uh, saloon area here in the seating. I love it. It's there. It's there. I like the straps. I think it's a great style. I just, I love these Schaefer boats. And then this guy folds out or you can have it like that, just like uh, on the after the boat with the cup holders and grab rail. And uh, looking around this way, TV is hanging out up here. My camera is focusing on my finger, but there it is. There's the television. And then hanging out down here, you got your uh, refrigerator, freezers, doing their stuff down there. So that's pretty cool. And uh, down here, little oven space. That's actually cool. Some uh, silverware cutlery hanging out there. I'll put this guy back up. And then... Uh, the camera's gonna freak out a little bit. And then, uh, like a lot of the other Schaefer's, of course, you get your uh, cupware set here, your regular highball style glasses, champagne style glasses, and uh, here's a better look from above at the how that atrium area opens up. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And then uh, here's our main helm, actually very similar to the one up on the flybridge. Here's your Raymarine uh, flat screen glass display, your joystick controls, Almost the same story as the other one, so there's your seat. More of that diamond hatch pattern on the upholstery that I just, I can't get over, so. I, I could go on about it all day, but we're gonna wrap this up here in just a moment. And then if I could, there's just some more switches down there. And yeah, we'll take a seat up in the helm real quick just to show you what it looks like looking out. So yeah, there we're in the helm. Great visibility out the bow. Uh, plenty to my either side of me too, but Definitely won't be up on the flybridge if you're looking for the most visibility, but absolutely not short of it here. And uh, more of this white uh, leather finish on the roof there. I think that looks, ceiling, excuse me. I think that looks absolutely great. And then uh, just this teak flooring throughout the whole boat. 
really brings it all together. So we're gonna step on back out here. So we're back out here on the aft and we are uh, aft cockpit. And we're gonna see if I can't get myself down into the engine compartment. So there we go. We'll just open that up and head on down into the engine room to the best of our abilities here with one hand. All right. So we are down here in the engine room and uh, powered by twin Volvo Penta D6 IPS 650 setup here. There's that one. Here's the other one. There's actually plenty of room down in this uh, engine bay area here. Engine room, actually, this is not a bay. This is a proper engine room. Can walk on these little steps if you need to, to get up there. Uh, stuff like hydraulic pumps and fluid hang out up there. Got some of the electrical switches for the master, on the master side of things hanging out on there. Outlet, fire suppression system right there. And if we step around this way, work our way back a little bit, can kind of see the master uh, regular switch panel rather than hanging out on that side. That's for like our 110, 120 volt on that side. And then just some, uh, uh, the fuel air fuel separator for the fuel system hanging out there. So we're gonna head on up. I think we're gonna finish this up on probably the, we'll go up to the uh, flybridge because why not finish this up? All right, we are gonna climb up here onto the flybridge, take a seat and finish this up. The sun is coming out now. So we got to uh, take full advantage of this uh, Bimini top. So we're gonna flip this guy around here. And that was the Schaefer 510 here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. I absolutely love that forward VIP cabin, the teal finish, teal accents with the white finishes and the diamond hatching, and I just loved it. Uh, I love this whole boat. Um, it's offered at a great price point too. Like, it's, it's fantastic. I'm sorry, there's a drone over there. It's very distracting, I'm a nerd. Um, excuse me for that, but uh, yeah, what a great boat. Definitely worth checking out if you're looking for something in the 50 foot range, 55 foot range. Schaefer, their boats just look sweet. That's all I can say. Check them out. I'll put their uh, information down in the description to get a hold of them. I'm not a salesman, I'm just the guy that loves checking out these boats. So that's it from me. Thanks for watching.